In recent news, a new find in Namibia has shocked both scientists and people in the business world. People are calling the finding terrifying, and it could change what we know about the natural world and its history. A strange new thing that has been seen in the deserts of Namibia is at the heart of the finding. Within Namibia's surreal landscape lurks one of nature's enduring mysteries. Millions of strange bare spots, known as fairy circles, freckle a strip of ancient desert stretching from South Africa to southern Angola. Researchers have found this type of geological formation that has never been seen before and that seems to defy all known science explanations. The formations, which have been called Namibian fairy circles, are circles of barren desert ringed by a ring of tall, lush grass. These rings can be anywhere from a few feet wide to more than a hundred feet wide. What's so strange about these rings is that they look like they were made by someone, not by a natural process. When seen from above, the rounds are perfectly symmetrical and often make a pattern. Researchers have had a hard time to figure out how these rings are made and what they are for. Some people think that these termites made the rings, while others think that gas pockets underground are to blame. But new researchers show us a different outlook, which is much scarier. This study says that the fairy circles are the result of a process called natural selection, which is meant to make sure that only the best and healthiest plants live. In this video, we will dive you into the terrifying new discovery. Let's find out. According to the report, the bare spots in the circles are caused by the roots of plants competing for limited resources. The plants that can grow roots that are the biggest and strongest live, while the plants that can't do so no longer survive. This makes a circle of lush, healthy plants around a patch of bare earth in the middle. If this idea is true, then it could change the way we think about evolution and natural selection in important ways. It would mean that these things don't just happen in the animal kingdom, but also in the plant kingdom. The effects of this finding are not just important for scientists, though. If the fairy circles are found, they could have a big effect on industries that depend on natural resources. If plants can pick out the strongest and healthiest people on their own, it could have big effects on farming and forestry. Now, let's talk about the fairy circles. Fairy circles are a natural event that happen in some dry and semi-dry parts of the world, especially in the grasslands of Namibia in southwestern Africa. They are round areas of bare dirt with a ring of tall grass or plants around them. The rings can be as small as a few centimeters or as large as several meters. Scientists still don't know for sure what causes fairy rings, but they have come up with a few ideas. The most popular ideas are that they are caused by plants competing for limited resources like water and nutrients. Since the time passes, the plants in the middle of the circle die off, leaving an empty spot. The roots of the plants that are still alive around the edge then grow into the middle, making a ring. This process keeps going, which is what makes a circular design. Fairy circles can last for a long time, and things like weather and soil conditions can affect how they form and how long they stay around. People have been fascinated by these mysterious natural forms which have led to different cultural and mythological explanations. Fairy circles are still being studied by scientists because they show how plants, soil, and water work together in harsh settings. Understanding how they form can help us learn more about how desert ecosystems work and how they can recover from changes. Scientists and people in the business world were shocked when the fairy circles were found in Namibia. They are a very strange phenomenon. These circles are round patches of barren desert surrounded by a ring of tall, lush grass. They have been a secret for many years. Over the years, many ideas have been given and put forward to explain where these rings come from. These ideas range from termites to gas pockets underground, but none of these ideas give any clue why the fairy circles are shaped the way they are. Dr. Stephen Getson, an ecologist at Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research in Leipzig, has done research for fairy tales, but it doesn't give any idea of fairy circles. His studies explain that these fairy circles are caused by a process of natural selection that helps only those plants which are the strongest and healthiest they are only surveying. This idea says that plants in the desert have to fight for scarce things like water and nutrients. The plants that can grow roots that are the biggest and strongest live, while the plants that can't do that die. This makes a circle of lush, healthy plants around a patch of bare earth in the middle. Dr. Getson and his team used computer modeling to test their idea by simulating conditions in the desert. The patterns they got from their simulations were very close to the fairy circles seen in Namibia. 
The studies show the results are important because they show that natural selection, which is usually a process that happens in animals, may also be a key part of how plant species change over time. This discovery is important because it goes against the idea that plants are passive creatures that just react to their surroundings. But the results of the study show that messing with natural selection could have effects that were not planned. For example, growing crops or trees in the bare spots of the fairy circles could throw off the balance of natural selection and cause weaker plants to grow in large numbers. Due to such findings, it also has an effect on fields like agriculture and forestry. If plants can choose the strongest and healthiest individuals on their own, it could change how these businesses work in big ways. Farmers and foresters may need to change the way they work to account for the way nature works. In the end, the finding of the fairy circles in Namibia is a big step forward in our knowledge of the natural world. The study's results go against what people have always thought about plants and natural selection. They also have important effects for business and efforts to protect the environment. To fully understand the complicated processes at work, more study is needed, but the discovery of the fairy circles shows how powerful scientific inquiry can be. When the fairy circles were found in Namibia, they shocked the business world, especially the farm and forestry sectors. The effects of natural selection on how plants grow and change could have big effects on these businesses and on efforts to protect the environment. Agriculture is one of Namibia's most important businesses because it provides jobs and food for many people. Farmers in the area have been worried for a long time about the danger of desertification, which is caused by too much grazing and changes in the climate. The finding of the fairy circles and the part that natural selection plays in how plants grow could have big effects on how farming is done. Farmers may need to change how they do things to account for the way nature works. This could mean growing only the best and healthiest plants and not getting in the way of the natural process of natural selection. It may also be necessary to change how plants are watered and fed so that only the strongest ones live. The finding of the fairy circles could also have an effect on the forestry business. Namibia, like many other countries, gets a lot of its money from the sale of wood and other forest goods. But the way trees grow and change could be affected by the process of natural selection, which also gets affected in their industry. Foresters might have to grow only the biggest and healthiest trees, which could change how they plant and take down trees. It could also change the kinds of trees that are grown, with more of an emphasis on species that are better able to survive the process of natural selection. Conservationists have been worried for a long period of time about the loss of plant life in Namibia, especially because of the spread of deserts. The discovery of the fairy circles and the role of natural selection could have big effects on attempts to protect wildlife. It is important to know what happens to plant species when humans mess with the natural process of selection. If you planted crops or trees in the bare spots of the fairy circles, it could throw off the balance of natural selection and cause weaker plants to grow more. Conservation efforts might need to focus on protecting the natural selection process and making sure that human actions don't mess it up. The finding of the fairy circles in Namibia has shocked the industry and raised important questions about how natural selection affects plant growth and development. Agriculture, forestry, and protection efforts may need to change how they work to take natural selection into account and make sure that plant species will be around for a long time. More study needs to be done to fully understand the complicated processes at work and how they might affect business and conservation efforts. Since the fairy circles were found in Namibia, more research has been done on the process of natural selection and what it means for plant growth and development. Even though experts have learned a lot about the phenomenon, they still have a lot to learn. One thing that needs to be looked into is the part that termites played in making the fairy circles. Even though we know that termites are to blame for the bare spots, we still don't know exactly how they make the rings. More study could help explain this process and give us more information about how natural selection works. The effects of climate change on the fairy circles are another thing that needs to be looked into. It is known that climate change has big effects on ecosystems all over the world, and it is possible that the fairy circles are no different. Changes in weather, the way it rains, and other environmental factors could have big effects on how plants grow and develop on the process of natural selection. Scientists are also looking into how natural selection could be used in crops and forestry. Farmers and foresters could improve food yields and make trees that are stronger and last longer if they only chose the strongest and healthiest plants. But it's important to think carefully about the risks and unexpected effects of messing with the process of natural selection. Lastly, there needs to be more research into how the fairy circles will affect the environment in the long run. Even though the barren patches may look like a sign of desertification, they may actually help keep the environment in balance. By protecting the natural selection process and keeping the fairy circles, it may be possible to help stronger, more resilient plant species grow and develop and to make sure that the ecosystem will last for a long time. The finding of the fairy circles in Namibia has given scientists new ways to study natural selection and how it affects plant growth and development. 
More study needs to be done to fully understand the complicated processes at work and how they might affect farming, forestry, and conservation efforts. With careful study and thought, it may be possible to use the power of natural selection to help stronger, more resilient plant species grow and develop and to make sure the environment stays healthy in the long run. The finding of the fairy circles in Namibia has been both shocking and interesting for the industry. Before, people thought that natural selection was just theory, but now it has been seen to happen in real life. This has important effects for agriculture, forestry, and conservation efforts. The discovery has shown that more study needs to be done to understand the complicated processes at work and how they might affect business and conservation efforts. It's important to think carefully about the possible risks and unexpected effects of messing with natural selection. But with careful study and thought, it may be possible to use the power of natural selection to help stronger, more resilient plant species grow and develop and to make sure the environment stays healthy in the long run. Overall, the discovery of the fairy circles in Namibia shows how amazing and beautiful the natural world is, and it tells us how important it is to keep exploring and learning about it. So if you found our video informative, then please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to hit the bell icon.